So what did that process look like for you then? You mentioned you start, you know, changing, like, I, I guess, like, what did you start with? Um, like, you know, you mentioned changing people, changing environments. Like, what things did you start with? And how did you know, like, you know, like, for you, how were you like, okay, this is working, I'm making progress, I need to, like, keep going down this path? So here's the thing. I started looking around my home, and I started, I mean, I'm a super nerd, I read journals all the time before bed. So I, I think we would get along when it comes to that. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I looked around and, you know, I had Teflon frying pans. I went, mm -hmm. hmm, let's research this. I did. And this is what I have in my course, which is called Claim Your Paradise, a, a list, an audit list that you literally you can use and go through and find which things around your home are invisible toxins that you don't even realize. Which you know? ones were the most surprising to you? You mentioned you mentioned the the Teflon, like that's a, that's a big one, especially like when it starts peeling because then it's getting in your food. Like mine was spectacular. I had like yeah. the best, highest end set of pots that I use. Nothing was wrong with them. I had to throw them away. Um, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. The other thing, Jeremy, would which would surprise you and maybe not, anything synthetic in terms of your your area rugs. Um, even what's covering like the pad underneath your area rugs, if it isn't oh, that's synthetic. interesting. Yeah, because it releases VOCs. Um, carpeting, any kind of carpeting that isn't natural, like isn't natural, 100% wool or or hemp or something, will mm. release VOCs for years. What are, are what are VOCs for people that may not uh, volatile know organic compounds? Okay. So like benzene, formaldehyde. Um, trichloroethylene. So it's really crazy. I'm, I break it all down. And I also talk about another thing, which is circadian rhythm. Mm -hmm. So they're realizing that cancer is related to your mitochondrial dysfunction. Mm -hmm. And what affects your mitochondria is, and this is an interior designer talking, but I, I, I feel like we need to realize that our relationship to the sun, which has also been villainized, um, is really important. You need natural sunlight on your skin and on your eyes in order to set your circadian rhythm. Sunrise in the morning. So how do you design that from an interior designer standpoint? Well, living in New York, I've had clients who never raise their shades for privacy sake or whatever. So the simplest thing and the simplest tip is to open your windows Sunlight is not polarized. So by even just opening your windows a smidge, even in your car, mm -hmm. you're getting the benefits of starting the cascade, the biological cascade that we need to have to be able to be healthy. Mm -hmm. 